Hello, welcome to my podcast. I'm Sherry and thank you so much for coming to join me. Happy Friday. It is bank holiday weekend here in the UK and I am very much looking forward to a little bit of stitching, a little bit of gardening, a little bit of reading and just generally relaxing. It's been a busy, busy few weeks and sorry I haven't done this podcast before actually, I meant to do it sooner but it's been bonkers busy so today but thank you for coming to join me so today I'm going to show you uh, what I've been up to my stitch nature journal and things that we've been making for the shop and announce competition winner I loved reading through all of your comments all of your flowers they were lovely I'll read through some of them later some of the flowers later um, yeah that was lovely so I'll do that later on I'm just going to first so the first thing I'll do is show you some of my stitching that I've been doing because I have been working away still on the little bit with uh, cow parsley and started on some new blossom so I don't know if, how much of my if I showed you actually this is my little sewing um, wrap that I'm making which I can't remember whether I showed you this, but I've added a few more little bits on. So I've added on a little bit down here. I've started embroidering some little flowers. That I've decided needs to go on there. Um, I'm going to put that on there. That was in our last Selvage Chronicles box I kept on for myself, because I love that. And yeah, I think you've seen the rest. Obviously needed to do a tiny strip of fabric because I just love applique. I love said before I love stitching fabric onto fabric. I don't think this is going to go on here. I think I've got enough on here. I might put that on my nature journal actually. So that's my hood swift and I've just started doing the inside. So actually speaking of the inside, um, as I've said before, this is the outside. So what I will do is I will have a fabric on the inside, exactly the same shape. Um, which I'm faffing around with and I haven't brought with me actually, but, and I'll have lots of pockets and it will have somewhere for my needle, needles to go and scissors, things like this that I have with me all the time. Um, this is my little pouch that comes everywhere with me. Um, another hoop, I'm not worried, too worried about that, but threads and yeah, scissors magnifying glass, all the little things that I need for my sewing that I can't, needles obviously that I can't do without. So that's sort of, I have talked about that before, so I won't talk about that anymore, but I'm thoroughly enjoying doing that. I've actually got to the stage where I need to stop stitching on that now because I think I've probably done enough. So I've done a little bit more of my nature journal. So I have, oh, I think I was, I think I was adding little stitches down here and what I've done is I've still got a tiny little bit left to finish actually but I've been adding some little seed beads on down here. This was a bit of sari silk ribbon that I sort of scrunched up and I've added lots of little uh, seed stitch, some French knots and some little glass beads and nearly finished that. I love doing that, I love doing little things like that. I finished doing fluffy pom-poms of joy, which is the cow parsley, or as somebody said in the comments, Queen Anne's Lace, which is such a pretty name. And as I said before, there are so many different varieties of umbrella for plants. And I've also put on a little quote down here, a nice little bit of fabric that I like. That was also in Selfish Chronicles, I think. Um, so this is actually from the prologue to the Canterbury Tales, which I studied for um, well, way back, a long, long time ago. And this is, this actually says, when that April with his showers suitor, I won't read the old English of it, I can't remember it either, but it's basically saying that when April's sweet smelling showers, I think it is, has um, pierced to the root, the drought of March is what it's saying. So I've started doing that just because I love the quote and it also reminds me of my studying. So I'm going to do, it's going to carry on down here and then I'm going to also carry it on down here, which on just a scrap of fabric that I've just, it was like tea stained bit of fabric. 
and rust marks and I'm going to carry it so that will kind of drift into another month which I think is quite nice. So that's that that I've been fidgeting and faffing with, still haven't quite decided on my lace at the top and this whole bundle here is um, not going to be there, it's just what I've kept because I want to add these bits in and I've got about three of these upstairs full of scraps and tiny bits and um, I cut myself in a muddle sometimes so I've taken these off to think right these are definitely going in and I've actually drawn on so here I did a little this is kind of joins all my circles and my months and this was a bit of couching and then here I've done the same but I've done it with little flowers um, to sort of echo the colours as well and to join everything up and I think I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that here so to join those and then here with the B going over towards um, the next one. So that's my plan stand with that part and then the other thing that I've been doing is this is my blossom stitch which again now this is um, a pattern that was originally in our a nature journal box from last year and if you had our Selvage Chronicles blossoms Selvage Chronicles Stitch Club blossoms this this uh, pattern was in there just the pattern in there so I have stitched that if you're one of our patrons this was downloaded, uploaded for you onto the site and I've just done another little video of me showing you how I stitch this. But basically that's my blossom and I'm going to, where's my bit of lace that I just had? Oh this is going on here. So I think what I'm going to do, I could just leave that raw edge, but because I love stitching I think I'm going to turn that over but it'll be wonky so as it's as it's torn and won't you know not straight as I'm doing it, I'm going to bend it over so it's not straight as well put some kind of text on there I like that but I like that on there actually that might go on there and then what I would do is just basically start adding bits onto there I'll probably do some stitches around here like that sort of thing um, just edging it and choose my colour palette and yeah that will be kind of the focus. I've still got up here January, I've still got this little chap who I still haven't decided whether, this sounds absolutely awful, but whether I'm going to take his eyes out or not because I'm just not sure about it and if I keep saying I'm not sure it means I'm probably not sure but I can't quite bring myself to do it yet so he's sitting up there waiting. But yeah, that's where my nature journal is at. And again, um, I'm just I'm just loving it. This was um, enough French knots to send you slightly crazy, but I love doing French knots. So that was a joyous thing to stitch. So that's my stitching. There's also been a really busy time in the shop. So we're always so grateful for your orders and we love putting them together. We love making them as special as, as we can so that when you receive it, we've always said it it feels like um, a gift to yourself, which it is. And we had so many orders for the Selvage Chronicles Blossoms and the Floral Edit Sweet Peas, but they have now all gone. So you should have had a notification, but we had so many more orders than normal and it took us a long time to get them out. So. Thank you for your patience, but they are now on their way to you. So if I show you some of the things we've been making for this shop, because we've got some lovely new colourways in the floral edit, floral edit yarns. And also I'll tell you something about the uh, advents, because we've got some stitching advents too, which I'm excited about. So our lovely, we've got some lovely colourways, as I said. I'm going to show you what we've got. One of the things that I noticed reading through your comments actually last in the last video with the flowers that you loved is how much flowers are 
evocative of memories and how you tied the flowers together with memories of grandparents or when children were young or I, I think at happy times even just all sorts of things memories of people I just think that's so lovely so this is cow parsley and oh, Queen Anne's lace this one is uh, a colourway that we did probably three or four weeks ago now um, with the little neps which kind of reflect the little flurry of flowers that you get and that's got just a little tinge, little hint, it's got the olive greens in there as well as the fresher cow parsley green um, and just that little hint of sort of parchment colour for you know when they whether it's in light and shadow or whether it's a fresh flower or whether it's nearing the end of its flowering time. So that is cow parsley. And as I say, that is on Donegal Nep. And then this is Raven's Wing. So this is again um, a cow parsley, but it's got a dark stem and it's 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 the same it's the same family, but it's a, it looks completely different um, in its colours. And this was kind of our interpretation of that because you get, you've got the lovely green and this is how the stem is with the green and the almost aubergine colour. It's lovely. So that is Raven's Wing. So if you like the two different cow parsleys. And then this is Forget-Me-Nots. This is one of the flowers that came up a few times actually in, in the comments pretty dear little flowers that I love. I think they're beautiful little things. They just sort of sum up springtime really. So that's forget-me-nots. This is Erigerum. I think I'm saying that right. And now I know this is a rock daisy. It's a tiny little um, flower that you often have growing out of um, walls and sort of tumbling at the bottom of uh, stone steps. And that's beautiful uh, powder pinks, sort of slightly deeper pinks there. And then the fresh green and just hints of the um, sort of ochre colour that you get. So that's Erigeron or Rock Daisy. And then this one is Foxglove. I'm going to call this one Apricot Beauty. I think this is actually Sutton's Apricot is the actual variety of Foxglove. We've actually had, we do, we have had in the past an Apricot Beauty, which was a tulip. But this is um, Foxglove Apricot Beauty and it's just pinks and lovely apricots and that lovely Foxglove green. So yeah, they're lovely. So they're the colourways that are going into the shop and these are all part of our floral edit. So I hope you love them. So a couple of things uh, stitchy now that are in the shop. So this is our Salvage Chronicles Blossoms that has just finished going out. And this is basically, so the colours of this were, were essentially whites, creams and pinks and everything blossomy. And you just get a selection of um, fabrics. That's actually what you just saw in my Nature Journal stitching and that. Um, this is the kind of thing that I had in my Nature Journal again that I scrunched up and stitched over the top uh, little bits of fabric and we like to try and present them so that each layer um, is exciting for you to open and some vintage Laura Ashley for you to open and be inspired by so if you do want to put together a piece of slow stitching yourself a little bit of art then everything that's that's your kickoff point there should be enough in there to do a pretty um, bit of stitching. So what I'm talking about, I find it was this little bit here where I did this. That's that's what. So that's what this is. If you use that, if you if you've received one of these boxes, and you can um, lay it down and then just scrunch it up a little bit and let the stitches pull the fabric. So it's that kind of thing. So the Blossoms box has now gone, but there is a new one on sale now, which is called Cottage Garden, which is um, cottage garden colours. So it's, it's more colourful. So if you're thinking um, Sweet Williams was one of the flowers that was mentioned in the, um, 
in a giveaway as one of the flowers that you loved and so the colours of it will be a little bit more varied. They're not going to be terribly bright because I don't tend to do bright but you'll have a variety of colours um, in, a, in a little box so that's on sale now. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about is we have got, so we put in the shop um, probably about three or four weeks ago now, our weekly yarn advents, which were, um, you could either, you had a choice between the foxglove wood or the floral edit weekly yarn advent. And so you open a weekly parcel it is, that is marked to open for that particular week. And we suggested that they open, they were opened on each Sunday in September in the lead up to Christmas. We have now launched our Selbridge Chronicles weekly slow stitch advent 2024. And it, again, the same as the yarn advents, it's a weekly advent. So you would have one parcel, which is will have fabric and trims in that you can, maybe some buttons, just, just very similar to our Selvage Chronicles, but you will get four bundles, um, one to be opened each week, and it will be um, labelled to be opened that week. And you have two to choose from. There is one that is called Time Worn Treasures, and that is moody, muted colours. So you'll have greys, creams, kind of faded brown parchment colours, off-whites, and also some richer, darker colours in there. So much more kind of wintry, moody colours. Um, there is also the option to add on treats, which means that you would get four extra parcels in there. One of which will be a box pouch, one of drawstrings, notions pouch, um, some hand dyed threads and a vintage treasures parcel, which is a surprise, which I'm really enjoying putting those together. There is also another option there, it's called Floral Elegance, and that is if you imagine the sort of colours here that you've got, where you've got more a more variety of summery kind of colours, spring-summer colours, then again they're going to be quite muted and soft um, and delicate, but they will be quite varied, so there'll be all sorts of different colours in there, and again there is the option uh, to add on some treats. So they are weekly advents. So if you fancy a weekly parcel in the lead up to Christmas, then they're in the shop now. You will find them under um, the stitching tab, I think. I don't think they're under new and featured anymore. They might be, but they'll definitely be under stitching. So go and have a look at those um, if you're interested in stitching. So we do, um, ask you with the um, boxes that we sell, the, the Christmas boxes, whether they're um, yarn boxes or whether they're um, the Selvage Chronicle boxes, that we, we do ask you if you would mind ordering them separately. And the reason for that, um, I know we probably sound a bit bossy, but it's basically because we do get a lot of orders for the boxes and really it just makes sure that it just makes it easier for us when it comes to dispatch and also it kind of eliminates any error so that we make sure we have our list of exactly who's ordered where it's going to in the world and I know it seems I've said before it seems very very early to have them up but um, we're already working hard on them now and it's just much much easier for us if you can order them separately and also the postage is worked out separately because we know exactly how much the box is going to weigh. So that's, we're not just being bossy, it's just that it's much easier if you can order it separately. That said, many of you for the yarn uh, boxes ordered the weekly advent and separately, because you're very well behaved, you ordered the Christmas Eve boxes. Um, if we can, we will send those out together. If we're able to, we will send those out together for you and refund you any postage. But if not, and if we need to get the um, the weekly advents out before the Christmas Eve, that's why we that's why we ask you to purchase separately. Um, it's just very much more helpful for us, um, and like I say, eliminates any likely um, errors if there are other things such as yarns that you've added on with with an advent box. I hope that makes sense. We're also hoping there isn't a stitching. 
Christmas Eve box out yet, but there will be, but we just haven't um, put it together for you yet and decided what's going in there. Just wanted to say about the blossoms, there is going to, I've just realised I haven't said anything about it. Um, we are hoping, that's what I mean about a wonky edge, by the way, I want that edge to just be wonky when I stitch it. Can't wait to do that. Um, this pattern, as I've said, if if you ordered your Selvage Chronicles Blossoms and it hasn't arrived yet, you will find the pattern in there. If you're one of our patrons, it's uploaded for you, along with a little video showing you how I've stitched it. If you would like to buy it as a PDF or a kit, um, it will be in the shop, hopefully in a, in a, within the next week, um, for you to stitch. So I forgot to say that, I think, when I was showing you this earlier. Yes, so that's my stitching and everything that's gone into the shop. So, competition winner. As I've said before, and, I, and I'd like to carry on doing giveaways because I love little giveaways. I like, it's just a way of saying thank you, but it's also lovely to share. So as I said in my last video, I will always announce the winner rather than sending you a message because I think that's just clearer, easier, and you know you've heard it. It's, I've said you've won. So before I tell you who's won, I'd just like to say, so I love reading through your messages. A couple of things that I saw, I've said before that I like to do this because I like to hopefully inspire other people to think, oh, I'll do that. And also in turn, you inspire me. And there's been a couple of things, a couple of comments that I saw, I think it was Ruby. Um, you were saying that when your daughter was little, you used to embroider her overalls and her blouse I think you said and then when she would wake up the next morning she'd see what you've embroidered I thought that was so such a magical thing to do and I thought how could I use that and I think that would be a lovely thing to do for a quilt for a little one to maybe just add little tiny simple embroideries nothing presumably you mean if you did it of an evening it would be a simple flower or something like that so I think that was a lovely idea and another lady I think I've got here Rose um, you're talking about you had some embroidered circles and you didn't know what to do with it and you were going to you were going to put them onto a sheet. I think that's I think that's lovely. So thank you for your inspiration. I want to read you some of the flowers. Sorry for my head looking down, but it's it's a long list. I mean, this is not all the flowers. But you said amongst others, gardenia, rose, snowdrops, bluebells, peonies, lilacs, foxgloves, lavender, dahlia, fuchsias, wisteria, lily of the valley. Sweet Williams, Forget-me-nots, Sweet Peas, Tulips, Freesias, Snake's Head Fritillary, Daisies, Iris, Cow Parsley, Sunflowers, Honeysuckle. I could go on, there are so many. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time to write the comments and we've got some lovely ideas there for colourways as well that we'd like to do in the future. So the winner, and we did the random number generator, uh, we, we also, I should say, for the first video, because we had we decided to take the first video down because people, some people were getting messages saying they'd won that that weren't from me, um, and we put the we put the video up again with with me saying that, that I would announce the winner on here. But we made a note of all the comments in the first video, so although that video is no not here anymore, your names went into the list just the same. So anyway, the lady who has won is a Crafty Dragonfly Crochet. So congratulations, and you said your favourite flower is lavender. So our floral edit this month, I think I said that we would send you the floral edit, which, which we were doing at the time, which was sweet peas, but actually this month's is lavender and lupins. So, so if you'd like to get in touch, so that again, that's Crafty Dragonfly Crochet. If you'd like to get in touch, if you go onto the shop, and do contact us then and send me a message through there with your details and when we have dyed up and we're shipping out our lavender and lupins we will we will send you a lovely bundle of yarny loveliness so thank you for um taking part and there will be lots more giveaways because i've got a couple of lovely books because i've picked up a couple of lovely books that i'd like to share with you that i'll do in the next couple of um podcasts so thank you for joining me have a lovely weekend Happy stitching, knitting, painting, whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll be back soon with a video on slow stitching and general 
chit chat and waffle which I do so very well so thank you for joining me see you soon